Jerry, I've been thinking about playing Seraphon lately. Oh. Well, have I got news for you! Wah! Whoa! <laughs> That's right! We've got a new Battle Tome and the new Realm Shaper engine, Adam. It's go time. Got the Seraphon Battle Tome. Uh, Adam, that's that's not the Seraphon Battle Tome. It says on the cover, though. That's the Seraphon <laughs> Battle Tome. Ah, <laughs> touche, touche. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new one. And uh, we got lizards, man. We do. We've got lizards, and uh, as you might have seen in the preview and stuff, some of them are actual lizards and not just weird, crazy beings of starlight and dreams. It's uh, true, because they they have the Starborn and the Coalesce now. Uh, yep. Two the, two different. But the same faction. Yeah. Uh, we'll get into that here in a bit. They did update all of the lore, which has been, you know, a big chunk of this book, the the front half essentially of this book. So you do get to read more about that. Um, War scroll wise, there have been some tweaks and changes. One of the big ones was the uh, troglodon. Mm -hmm. That was updated to be the skink oracle on the troglodon now. Yep. Just one example. So some of the units have been renamed. Uh, a lot of the stuff, tweaks and changes. Yeah, we'll there check are those out. There are some new units, but not new mm -hmm. models. And we'll definitely be taking a look at some of the battle line because I, I want to see if the Saurus Warriors <laughs> got changed. Yeah, at all because heck yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, again, lore wise, there have been some changes. Uh, there's some really cool terrain in the background too. Of these of the art and the um, the models. We'll see if those ever show up or if those are just one shot kits from Games Workshop. I hope that they're not, but. We do have one new piece of terrain, which will show up later. A uh, bunch of new artwork in here, as, as mentioned. They updated the lore. You do have a bunch of these new um, uh, sub-factions as well. Uh, uh, Draconian th Dracothon's Dr Tail, excuse me. Mm -hmm. The Fangs of Sotek. Kotal's yep. uh, Claw. And the Thunder Lizard. Yep. And so you've got a couple of those uh, sub-factions that you use, and they kind of fit with the Coalesce or Starborn. They each have their own special yep. uh, task that they do. Some look after the, the Slan, or I guess the old one's crazy Astro Matrix, because yep. they, they still have their, like, star, sun, uh, ancient Aztec technology theme going on right? for them. Like this. And again, uh, we, we've seen these pictures... Uh, some of these are kit bashed things. Like Absolutely. These are kit bashed from some of the bits from the uh, Age of Sigmar Celestial Temple stuff, and then also like the Engine of War. But S some of these kits in the other background, though, were like, "Whoa, what is that?" And where? When are we going to get to build those? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, uh, th that that double pyramid thing there looks yeah. like uh, you like know, a double rainbow, like, but a pyramid. Yeah, it's like the back of two one dollar bills. Yeah, blow your mind. Uh, I, I think that could be. Could be kit bashed, or it could be just special train that they built. I or maybe it'll come out eventually. We'll, we'll see. find out. Uh, uh, then, of course, you get into all of the like the the miniatures and yep. the art, the hobby examples where they're like, here are some different ways you can paint them. Uh, yeah. I've noticed that in this book, they they have like a, a big blue and red ice and fire kind of a theme going yeah. on to them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very bright colors in some cases too. Do want to mention there's not really any new models right. other than the train piece for the release though. So. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's take a look at some of the new uh, yeah. command traits and fancy yeah. things like that. Pictures, tips and tricks on that. Uh, we do have their new uh, allegiance abilities here. Yep. Their new battle traits. Yep. So, a um, couple of things. You got the Way of the Seraphon and the Coalesced. Uh, then you have the the Starborn. Starborn. Uh, these are that that's the summoning uh, mechanism yeah. for Starborn if armies only. If you were playing them previously, that's kind of what they did before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's check out the Coalesce real fast. We'll we'll run through these. Uh, yeah. Just uh, since we've got them on the screen, you can read the other ones if you want. But we'll go through the Coalesce. So we have first off Coalesce constellations. If your army is Coalesced, is a Coalesced army, you can give it the Crotal's Claw or Thunder Lizard keyword. All coalesce units in your army gain that keyword, and you can use the extra abilities listed here uh, for that constellation. Yeah. Uh, you also are cold-blooded, which means you ignore modifiers, positive and negative, to the bravery characteristic of all your coalesced units. Cool. You have predatory fighters, which adds one to the attack characteristics of Jaws weapons used by coalesce units. So cool. lots of biting. Uh, my, my favorite is the primeval domain. This is the interesting one. If a terrain feature is partially or wholly within the territory of an army, then any damned arcane inspiring and mystical scenery rules for that terrain feature only apply to coalesced units. 
Ooh. Any deadly and sinister scenery rules only apply to uh, do not apply to coalesced units. So you can kind of take control of the terrain. Yeah, uh, uh, that is on which is your very territory. Yeah, for them as well. And then finally, we have another one which is pretty cool: scaly skin. Subtract one from damage inflicted by each successful attack that targets a coless unit to a minimum of one. Mm. So that's where they're going to get a lot of their staying power. Yeah. Those uh, two and three damage attacks drop down one to, and a, two. to one and two, and D6 becomes D6 minus one to a minimum of one. And they have a lot of wounds uh, yeah. to, to throw around. Let's take a look at... Uh, There's some command traits as well. Yeah. Uh, we do have command traits charts for the slam, which have three. Saurus, which also have three. And, and then Skink, which Skinks, which also have three. Yeah. Uh, there's a ton of fun stuff to play from there. Uh, you also get all the usual things you'd expect. Your artifacts uh, yep. of power. Uh, uh, for the Slan, Saurus, and, and Skinks. skinks. Uh, you also get some uh, their, their spell lores. And uh, bound endless spells. We have uh, uh, Slan-only spells, the uh, lore of, celest of Celestial Domination and the lore of celestial manipulation from the skinks. Mm -hmm. So there you go, which I mean, they have some pretty powerful magic. So we have the Realm Shaper engine. Uh, this is another thing too, uh, just real quick, if you, uh, for terrain placement, I'm gonna read this part real fast. Uh, when you choose a Seraphon arm, you can include one Realm Shaper engine terrain feature. Uh, when it's set up on the, uh, for the battle, any Realm Shaper engine terrain feature must be set up by the player whose army they are a part of before any other terrain features are set up. More than six inches away from any objectives and more than six inches from the edge of the battlefield, set up the rest of the terrain as described in the core rules. If both players can set up terrain features before other terrain features are set up, the player players must roll off and the winner chooses who sets up their terrain feature first. So again, yeah. this is more closely aligned to the Ossiarch Bone Reaper style where they get to drop their terrain piece and then you put the terrain on the table. Right. Uh, which is a big deal if that you're playing... Uh, for objectives or, or stuff like that. That is a big deal, especially given the, the rules they have that play well with uh, scenery and terrain pieces. Heck yeah. Uh, JR, what does the Realm Shaper engine do rules-wise on the table? Rules-wise, what the Realm Shaper engine does, uh, you can garrison your models in it. Uh, you can uh, you can also... Un it has an ability called Power Unleashed, which in your hero phase, uh, if it's garrisoned by a friendly wizard or a priest, you can pick one terrain feature anywhere on the battlefield and roll a die for each enemy unit within three inches of that terrain feature. Add two to that roll if you uh, have that terrain feature within 18 inches of the Realm Shaper engine. Nice. Uh, subtract two if it's further out, more than 36 inches away from, from the model. Yeah. Uh, on a four up, that enemy unit takes D3 mortal wounds, so you can kind of make the, the terrain on the table explode. Yeah. Uh, also great if you're playing for objectives. Heck yeah. Uh, here we have uh, Drakathon's Tail. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, if you pick one of these options, you, you, you're you using their uh, their command abilities, their command traits, artifacts power, all that fun stuff. Yep. Uh, we've got them, Fangs of Sotek. We also have, uh, on the next page, Coatl's Claw and the Thunder Lizard. Again, yep. uh, they, they have their own abilities, command traits, artifacts of power, and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. Uh, we're not going to go through all of those. Yeah. Uh, you get your your swanky uh, battle plan here. Heck this yeah. is the table's turn, which uh, looks like a fun one to play. Uh, yeah, it's interesting because of... your territory starts off really small. Um, but then... Yeah. 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 But uh, it's a throwdown, so... This is a throwdown. It's a, it's a glorious throwdown. They have your... your Path to Glory Path rules, to glor which, uh, again, great to get dived in if you're just getting started with Age of Sigmar. It's a great way to ramp up and kind of build an army from random tables, which mm -hmm. champion rewards, all that fun stuff. Good good skirmish times. Then you have all the new War Scrolls. These are yep. uh, a ton of War Scroll battalions for these guys. Yep, I believe there's a total of 10. And some of these might be repates from the previous book. Right. Their, their rules have been tweaked and changed. Maybe some of the organizational options here, even some of the ability have changed. So be sure to check out uh, the new stuff when you get your hands on this book compared yes. to your old uh, War Scroll battalions because they may have been tweaked slightly. But you do have 10. Some of these names might be familiar to folks, and they do have the two uh, uh, mega battalions there. So. Yeah. So really, it's eight War Scroll battalions and then, and then the two, two mega battalions. Two big ones. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, you have all the units 
like we say, there are a few new units, but uh, yeah. most of these have been kind of tweaked and updated, so check right, them out, right, see right. how they're different. We're going to start with a quick look at the Source Guard, Ooh. and we're actually going to compare them with their old version right here. So right away, we can see that they have uh, doubled their wounds. Yes. They've gone from one to two, which is uh, pretty fantastic, especially yep. with the um, the new uh, scaly, uh, scaly, yeah, scaly skin, skin yeah. option. That is an option. It's not mandatory, but that's pretty good. Uh, they did take a hit to their bravery, but again, yeah. if you're taking scaly skin, you're also cold-blooded, so don't worry Doesn't about matter. that. Yeah. Four-up save stays the same. Uh, weapons are similar. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, attacks are also similar. A few things that have changed. They uh, now can... Uh, they have the War Drummer, which works differently than the old War mm -hmm. Drum. Uh, instead of doubling their move characteristic, if they march uh, in lieu of running or charging, you can just straight up reroll charge rolls, which is great, because you want these guys to get in with those deadly weapons. Yep. Uh, and then they also... Their, their uh, Sworn Guardian thing changed to Selfless Protectors. Yes. Uh, which applies to Friendly Slan now, instead of Seraphon Heroes. So, so that lets them... Uh, that lets them take... Take hits, essentially. Take hits, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they've, they've some interesting changes there. We also have uh, the Saurus Warriors, which we're going to take a look at right now. So same deal, we're going to compare the Saurus Warriors versus their old version to the new version as well. Uh, it looks like, stat-wise, the only big change there is they went from a 5-up save to a 4-up, which right. is nice. A little bit of heavier armor. Uh, they also got a little bit better with their Celestite Spears, so they, they wound on 3s instead of 4s. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, their their Celestite Clubs also have a Ren now, which Ooh, is nice. Even better. So it gives you an option there, too. Get in and stab them or club them. Yep. Uh, same with the Wardrum. I believe that changed as well. Same change we talked about previously. Mm -hmm. uh, Star Drake, their Shields... Uh, Their shields have, by and large, uh, gone away. Yeah, so, sorry, that was a nice ability where they could ignore your rend unless it is two or better. Uh, now, it doesn't appear to have that, but you got the four-up save, so kind of a kind of a trade-off there. Uh, you do add one to the attack's characteristics of characteristic of this unit's Celeste, uh, Celestite Clubs or Spears while the unit has 15 or more models, though. Oh. So if you take a big chunk of Warriors... They get to add one to all their attacks, which is nice. kind, of, kind of spicy. Yeah, that is I pretty like that. spicy. Uh, so, and then of course, there's a whole bunch of other new uh, stuff to go through. Yep, um, we're not gonna go through all those comparatively, but you can tell uh, if uh, you definitely want to take a look through this book when you get your hands on it. Uh, yeah. Speaking of what's new, though, let's yeah. show off the Realm Shaper engine now. Realm Shaper time. All right. Let's flip it over real quick. Here's the back of the box. This does have two version to build you can build like the clean version which is like a freshly landed one or freshly built one and then the one that's been in the jungle for a little bit it's overgrown with vines ivy and more and you can actually mix and match the sides uh, Ooh, so. i think that'd be fun to yeah. fun to play around with let's take a look at the kit i'm excited uh, i really like the the ziggurat style on yeah. this uh, it's, that's kind of been their aesthetic this whole time first off los instracciones ooh. and then we We've have got basically two sprues yeah that are they identical look identical yep they are which makes sense it's it's not a complicated build you put together uh you put together the, the walls yep uh and then kind of make yeah. sure the stairs get in where they go now you have these different panels and stuff here and that's what i was talking about you can mix and match those panels uh if you want so, JR, where yes. are the vines at, though? Where are the vines at? That's a great question, because I just question. found out. Oh, it's on the back side. Bingo. Look at that. So that's, that's cool. You can mix and match those viney versions with the non-viney versions. Uh, you can kind of do your own thing. Man, you know what would be really cool? What? Is if somebody built one of these that was like half clean and half viney. Yeah. Like, and then painted it to look like it was like warp in time. Oh, Boom. hey, uh, if, you are a, uh, if you are a converter, yeah, that is a great idea. And you can kind of see there with the glare a little bit more. There's a lot of detail with those vines going on yeah. all over the place. And a lot of hidden rune detail here as well. It's, yeah. it's got a very clean, uh, very, very clean aesthetic. Yeah, it, it's, it's like looking at a smartphone uh, <laughs> screen, app yeah. screen pretty much. Cool. One final note, this book also contains 14 bound endless spells. These are the same endless spells introduced from Malign Sorcery. 
These are special versions of the same spells that only Seraphon players can cast. These bound versions of these spells remain under the Seraphon player's control, unlike other predatory spells. Here we have the example of the bound Purple Sun of Shaiish. There's lots more mysteries to unlock with the Battle Tome for Seraphon. So check them out from Games Workshop. I'm Adam Harry. I'm JR. We're from Battle Lost Souls. Thank you for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.